Welcome to the update. I'm Talisa Ryder. More than 700 new safe places are set to be created across Australia over the next three years for women and children experiencing family and domestic violence. Once completed, it'll bring the total number of emergency accommodation spots under the Safe Place program to around 1,500. Social Services Minister Amanda Rishworth says they're designed to house women of all circumstances. Making sure that children are accommodated. Um, Larger families can be accommodated, but importantly, people with disability, women with disability can be accommodated. Meanwhile, a man will face court today on domestic violence murder charges after a woman's death in Sydney's West. Police found the 21-year-old victim with two stab wounds to her chest yesterday. Arvo, a 21-year-old man arrested just hours later and charged with her murder. A nighttime curfew is back in force in Alice Springs. It comes after a resurgence of violence, including the assault of four off-duty police officers. NT Police Commissioner Michael Murphy says the city centre is now out of bounds between 10 at night and 6 in the morning, but there are exceptions. So some of those reasons are if you're fleeing from domestic violence, if you're visiting family, if you have to care for someone, um, if you're here for employment purposes, if you're going to a fast food restaurant or some lawful purpose, I can assure you police will use discretion. And a big backflip from Woolies, who will now stock Aussie flags in time for the Olympics. After previously boycotting the sale of flags for Australia Day, the supermarket giant says handheld flags will be available across all stores. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, Australia's Alex Demonar is playing down injury fears after reaching the quarterfinals at Wimbledon for the first time. Demonar pulled up with a sore hip at the end of his four-set victory over Frenchman Arthur Fies, but he insists he'll be fine to take on Novak Djokovic in the quarters. You know, felt like a, I jarred it a little bit and kind of was a little bit ginger, but again, it's probably a little bit of a scare uh, more than anything. And in athletics, selectors have named a mix of youth and experience in Australia's 75-strong track and field team for the Paris Olympics. There are 30 debutants, while Javelin star Catherine Mitchell will compete at her fourth Olympics. In entertainment news, there's a major online push this morning to honour Australia's iconic Minogue sisters with their own street. Minogue Lane is being pitched by a Melbourne local who says it's high time Kylie and Danny are recognised in the city they grew up in. Perth has been snubbed by yet another artist, this time home grown talent Troy Savant, the Aussie pop star who grew up in Perth announcing his first tour down under in five years with show dates in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane and Adelaide. And Halle Berry and Glenn Close are set to star alongside Kim Kardashian in a new legal drama series on Hulu. Kardashian is set to play a successful divorce lawyer. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow. 